is uh, the typical or some of the useful items that you might need in setting up your cartridge. Here's a selection. It's no, by no means exhaustive or uh, showing the best items, but it is showing you a typical set of items which are useful in setting up a tone arm and cartridge in your vinyl setup. So the first thing I'd point you to is the cartridge alignment uh, templates. Now what you've got here is a set of paper templates and you'll notice all of them will have some kind of hole. Can you see that? And that hole, what that does is sit on the center spindle inside your vinyl setup. So what happens is it'll sit right on the center spindle. You'll uh, you know, just put that over the center spindle and then this cartridge alignment uh, template will extend beyond the center spindle and it will produce for you a set of alignment parameters which you can follow depending on how you set up your cartridge and which arm you are using whether it's a 9 inch or 12 inch arm 9 inch, 10 inch or 12 inch I should say now um, I've got an example or an array of different uh, setup templates here you don't require all of them but what you will require is at least one of them now these are some of the more common ones uh, you've got here a sure setup template which will come with a lot of sure cartridges within the box itself um, you've got here a general one which I've used uh, produced by Origin Live this works well with Riga tone arms of course and you've got here something a little bit different something a little bit special which is a Garrett Brothers setup template now Garrett Brothers um, for anybody who's interested you can do your research on the internet they were introduced to me by a friend who I met through audio circles thank you very much to him because he kindly reproduced this Garrett Brothers template and sent it over to me it is supposed to have mathematically and, and mechanically the most accurate setup for tone arms and cartridges and the alignments uh, but you know you can use any one of these and it will produce a decent setup for you it's a matter of experimentation what works best for you I'm going to in my setup video I'm going to use the Garrett Brothers setup template and we'll see how that works for me Next, uh, I'm going to show you some of the additional tools that you'll probably need. First at the top there is a, a, a range of tracking force um, uh, tools. One is a mechanical tool created by Sure back in the 70s and 80s, I think. It's called the SFG2 model. Um, and then above that you can see a electronic uh, digital scales effectively for using tracking force. I'll explain that in a little while. Beneath that you've got this item here which is a uh, effectively is a very small screwdriver. It's very useful when you're uh, unscrewing and screwing in the actual cartridge itself onto the tone arm. You'll need one of these little micro screwdrivers. Also very useful I found is when you're connecting the phono connectors, uh, the clips effectively from the tone arm cable to the actual cartridge itself. I find using a pair of tweezers um, is very helpful because of the fine work, the intricacy of dealing with those small items. Um, these tweezers are a little bit different in that they have a built-in light uh, if I can get it to work there we go right so um, it's got a small built-in light so when you're shining it down or when you using uh, this with cartridges etc that little light is very helpful in just illuminating um, what you're doing a little bit more helping people with eyesight issues definitely uh, the older we get, uh, the more 
that seems to be an issue, certainly for me. <laughs> Next is a spirit level. A small spirit level is very useful in setting up your turntable, whether it's the turntable itself and just judging whether you've got true flat surfaces or the tone arm cable or even the cartridge itself. You can place this because it's a very light uh, spirit level onto that surface and you can quickly ascertain whether you've got a flat uh, setup of your equipment. Next, uh, I don't know where I got this from actually, uh, but all I can say is it's been extremely useful, which is even better than the uh, cartridge manufacturers supplied brushes. Um, this may actually come from a lady's makeup set, I'm not sure. But um, this particular brush is uh, delicate enough and um, you know well enough constructed that when you apply it over a stylus, it doesn't damage the stylus at all. It's light enough that it, it removes any kind of debris, any dust. Um, and that's extremely useful. You'll find that uh, a good part of your ongoing kit, I would have thought, just to remove dust, which is the enemy of all vinyl lovers. Finally, a set of very small Allen keys or hex keys, depending on what you want to call them. Extremely useful in that most tone arms, um, their adjustments are using some form of hex setup. And so these hex keys are pretty useful when you're adjusting your tone arm and, and you're doing your setups for your cartridges. So these are some of the items I'd recommend in um, establishing a kit for uh, adjusting your tone arm and um, inserting or setting up your cartridges. I'll explain a little bit more actually now about the actual stylus weight scales this one's a mechanical one as I say and that I don't know if you can read it there but there's a scale here uh, which shows the different stylus weights so you can move it along between I think it's one and a half grams to 1.25 one gram etc etc and the way that this particular uh, uh, stylus scale works is uh, you lay it down flat this end here goes to where the spindle is and then what you're doing is you'll typically bring your cartridge over and you'll let the stylus fall onto this element of the scale and because you've set it up to a particular value that value should be the tracking value uh, of your uh, cartridge when you let the stylus rest onto the end here it should be in balance when you achieve the correct tracking force. Okay, it's a mechanical uh, uh, tracking scale and it works very well, I have to say. That's why it's so popular over the years and these sure uh, mechanical tracking scales are very popular if you can find them. They're quite rare now, uh, but if you can find them, I'd certainly recommend it. It's a, a good measure. Now, uh, more common nowadays is having one of these digital scales. Now you remove the cover and you can see very clearly here where the stylus would, would rest. You'd place that onto your, onto your uh, uh, record surface, your vinyl surface. And then as you're setting up your, your uh, cartridge at a particular point, you'd want to know the tracking force for that cartridge. And the way this works, this particular stylus um, measure, is you have a digital scale here. The digital scale reads out what tracking force is being applied onto that surface. So it's very sensitive, of course. We're talking about grams of pressure. And depending on how much that stylus has been set to you'd obviously want it that digital value to correspond to whatever the written specifications are for your stylus okay um, this particular 
stylus gauge uh, depending on if you get a branded one it can cost up to 80 pounds uh, 120 dollars something like that or if you get an unbranded version um, a chinese version like this one is uh, i think it only cost me about 15 pounds so around 20 dollars 22 dollars something like that okay they're very good so uh that I find is the kit which I typically use um, to set up my cartridges and tone arms. There's not a lot there uh, but if you have that kit then it usually covers most scenarios that you'll be confronted with when you're uh, looking after your vinyl setup. Thanks.